Hi, welcome to another episode. We've had a lot of requests on how to tie the knot in the short lanyard that goes onto the drop bob. So this is the drop bob toggling line out of Dyneema. And I'll show you how we tie that knot and then we're going to bring it here and break it. Okay, we're gonna show the knot we use on the drop bob. The drop bob cord we use doesn't have a core. The difference in color is nothing. Don't worry about that. There's no core inside this. As you can see, it's a soft weave. The floppier it is, the better for the drop bob, less likely to have foul ups. This is our Dyneema spear line. As you can see, it has an inner core. That makes it nice and stiff, easy to handle in the water. But for the drop bob application, we use this black cord. To show you that knot now, don't worry about this end, we don't have the drop bob on. I'm just demonstrating the knot itself. So we lay the two tag ends, we then wrap one back on itself three times. That's three times. We bring that tag end through all three loops. It's basically like a hangman knot. Also very similar to our knot that we tie our spear line on with. This now will slip. As you can see, we can slip it up and down. You obviously set your length however you, long you need this zone between the knot and your drop bob. Now we continue with the loose piece. We do exactly the same, but now only two loops back on itself. One loop, two loops, go from behind through both loops. So it's exactly the same, but it's two loops instead of three. Once tensioned, you slip it all back together and then haul really hard on that with pliers. When it's really locked up, that is low profile and a stronger brake strain we found than a conventional figure of eight. For difficulty, this is quite difficult, but in the water and or on a boat, it's quite easily just to do the same cord, but do a figure of eight. So same cord, all we do is tie a figure of eight. Cross around, instead of doing a granny knot, so a granny knot would be just that, you go one more loop, bring it back around. So there's your figure of eight. That in itself is a little more bulky, but locks up and is almost as strong as that three and two looped system we use. We'll now break these and uh, show you how strong they are in comparison. We're now back, you've seen us tie the knots. We're gonna now pull on the knot we use ourselves and then we will do the figure of eight knot which will break. So all set up here in the scale. Let's break it. This cardboard here is just to stop the shackles from jamming. There's already a hundred plus. Hundred and thirty, hundred and forty. That one broke at about hundred and forty plus. More than good enough. Your knot in your line is probably going to break sooner, as all the crimp on your mono. Now we'll do the figure of eight. So now we set up and ready with the figure of eight knot. Let's see how that does. Mm. 
Anything over 100 is good. There we're on 103, slight slippage. And there she slips. So 100 would be about equivalent to what you would have on your spear line crimped. Preferably use the knot we've just shown in the portion of the video before. And uh, that wrap is way stronger, as you can see, than a figure of eight. Hope you enjoyed that. Please keep coming with the questions and we'll keep putting the videos up. <laughs>